Historians and geologists have long speculated about the vast, untapped gold reserves lying beneath the soils of Mali and Burkina Faso, with approximately two centuries worth of gold waiting to be extracted. The history of gold mining in Mali and Burkina Faso dates back centuries, with both countries known as major players in the ancient Trans-Saharan trade routes. Gold from these regions contributed to the wealth of empires such as the Mali Empire, once ruled by Mansa Musa, one of the wealthiest individuals in history. In recent years, advancements in satellite technology have provided new insights into these hidden reserves. High-resolution satellite imagery has enabled geologists and mining companies to map out gold-rich areas with unprecedented accuracy. These images reveal the intricate patterns of mineral deposits, allowing for targeted exploration efforts that were previously unimaginable. The vast stretches of northern Mali come into focus, revealing a reality that has been hidden from the world for years. As the image zooms in on the remote locality of Tinzauten, nestled along the border between Mali and Algeria, it's clear this isn't just barren land. Bright patches of gold, glinting against the harsh landscape, tell the story of recent gold exploration. The marks left on the earth from heavy machinery and mining operations stand out, evidence of an ongoing rush for resources in this isolated region. But what's most striking isn't just the gold, it's who's involved. Mali's government has been unable to access this part of the country since 2010, effectively losing control due to the security situation and the rise of insurgent groups. As the satellite hones in, the presence of foreign involvement becomes undeniable. The rooftop bears the unmistakable tricolor flag of France, painted boldly, leaving little doubt about who's operating here. Nearby, other flags, unfamiliar but clearly representing different countries, dot the landscape, each marking another mining site. The unsettling truth is that these mining activities aren't just being carried out by foreign entities, they're being guided by terrorists. The very groups that have spread violence and instability across the Sahel are now deeply entwined in Mali's gold trade, using the profits to fuel their campaigns of terror. The more you look, the clearer it becomes. These operations are part of a broader strategy, one where wealth and conflict are deeply connected. Also, the satellite gives us a clear view of Burkina Faso, and what it shows is hard to ignore. Gold sites are scattered across the country, especially around Jibo. You can see them from the sky, standing out against the dry landscape, almost like bright spots of activity. But it's not just Jibo. As you look closer, you notice similar sites popping up in other parts of the country too. These aren't small operations. They've left clear marks on the earth where heavy machinery has been at work. It's obvious that gold mining is in full swing in these areas. This view from above highlights just how rich Burkina Faso is in natural resources, but it also brings up some big questions. Who's really benefiting from all this gold? And what's it doing to the communities on the ground? The scale of these operations is impressive, but it's also a bit concerning when you think about the long-term impact on the country. If harnessed effectively, the gold reserves in Mali and Burkina Faso could transform the economies of these nations, providing much needed revenue, creating jobs and driving industrialization. However, this will require security, investment and collaboration between governments, private sector partners 
and local communities.